All right, we're back for recipe number two with Nani. And it's another Hawaiian one. What you got for us, Nani? We're going to make what they call Hawaiian crock pot chicken. It's a really super easy recipe. We cheated a little bit because it's a long recipe. You're supposed to do, use the crock pot if, and let it simmer for six hours. So because we're going to be hungry and we all got different schedules today, I actually cooked the chicken, parboiled it, and then we only need about an hour in the, um, it's, and we use chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you'd like. I leave the skin on because that's the yummy part. And um, so we're going to make that. That's going to be our, our uh, main course. But it's, it's going to be delicious. It's really good. And it's very simple. You don't have to put anything in your crock pot. You put your chicken in first. And then the sauce that you make is one cup of, of one cup of barbecue sauce. Yeah. And one, one, about eight ounce can, I think it is, of crushed pineapple. Okay, Nani, what's your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory is that we used to go camping all summer long, different campgrounds, wherever my dad, who was an iron worker, used to work. He'd work one where, then we'd go there and we'd fish, we'd boat. Most of them had a game room. We had a, it was a stress-free time. Parents weren't stressed, kids weren't stressed, and we just had fun. We were able to enjoy life. What's your favorite campground? Do you remember? Treeman State Park. In Treeman State Park, I think it was in Ithaca, yeah. and it had a great big waterfall, and the waterfall came down like that, and it had a swimming area, and you could actually walk behind the falls, and that was really cool. And I also like to go to Lake George for my biological mother's family, the balls. Had a great time up there. Um, there were hiking trails. Aunt Helen and I walked to the top of a mountain to look out over the, over the lake. Um, we used to go attempt to water ski. We used to go for bike, bike, uh, bike rides up to the little store. We used to play croquet. They have a big croquet area. Um, she had some beautiful white and green flowers with purple, purple flowers coming up that I just loved. And just laying there in bed at night and hearing the waves lap in, they just put you to sleep. It was very nice. Got our parboiled chicken thighs. You just plop them in there. Got one out because I got one person that likes the barbecue, but he does not like the pineapple. This is crushed pineapple, one small can. I think it's probably eight ounces. To one cup of barbecue sauce. Do you have a favorite barbecue sauce? Um, I like Sweet Baby Ray's here in Florida. And Frank and I, when we were first married, we uh, had our own barbecue sauce that we made, but it's, you know, you use a ton of ingredients. So it kind of looks like homemade applesauce. This is the consistency you get. Then you put that on top of the, on top of the chicken, and generally you're going to cook it for six hours. Today we're going to do just about an hour to make it a little bit stick onto the chicken. So when you cook it for six hours, you put it in raw? Yes. And it's very good. It's, it puts like a really nice glaze, but it also kind of marinades the chicken. Okay, so we're just going to plop this in here and start her going. I like this. It's really, it's really good. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce. And you just want to make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies so that everybody's got some on. So when you cook it for six hours, is that low or high? Um, I always start it for an hour on high. 
and then I kind of mix it to make sure everybody's wet. And then after that, then I just turn it down to low, cover it. And when you can smell it, <laughs> when it's, done. it's pretty much done. Yep. Yeah. That's the beginning. Cover it up. And all you got left to do is eat it. Tell us about your childhood. Oh, my childhood. Oh, I lived in Park Terrace Heights. Binghamton, New York, I, as you all know, went to the Little White Church on the corner. Had um, a tomboy growing up. All the boys in the neighborhood, we used to play in a big field out back. And that's just because they were my age. There were no girls. They were either much younger or on the other side of Park Ave where I really didn't go too much. Um, we played football. We rode bikes. We had bike races. We had snowmobile races. Um mini bikes in the summertime we went down to the creek we went fishing we looked for special stones out of the creek it was fun it was so funny yesterday we we uh, purchased a old winnebago for frankie and it's a 92 but it but it was but it was so funny we go up there and here it was Mr. Mr. Lear, who was Ricky Roberts' half-brother, right across the street from the Little White Church at the end of our street. <laughs> kind, of, kind of strange that it's a small world down here. But it was very neat. And it was nice thinking about Ricky again and talking about him. All right. How did you like the chicken? It was very yummy. I like the sauce on the chicken. Ooh, yay. I enjoyed the Hawaiian chicken. Chicken was awesome. The chicken was super delicious. The people are super awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not delicious too? No, no, I, I didn't, I didn't taste you guys. Just, I like uh, enjoying your company with me. But the food, awesome. Yay. The, the meat, meat was, was great. great, great, great. But I have barbecue. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. There's pineapple should never be put on your food. Remember that cage. <laughs> right. uh, uh, chicken, it was delicious. You did a good job? She did a great yeah, job. job. Very good. Tell her to cook it more often, huh? Cook it more often. <laughs> All right. And the chicken was perfect. It was nice and soft and moist. And the pineapple flavor, I think it um, toned down the barbecue a little bit. I'm not a big barbecue person, so it's... Tasted delicious. Chef Kelly. A kiss and hug the chef. But I loved the, the, the chicken. Oh, so we should make that more often? All right. See you on our next dinner. What should it be?